Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Agoncha. The PDP has rejected the ruling of Justice Eko Iyang of the Federal High Court in Abuja, halting the coalition and announcement of the March 9 Bochi governorship election result. The party in a statement signed by its National Publicity Secretary Kalao Lobodion said the PDP has issued a petition on the matter to the National Judicial Council. The party is also alleging that the order is in violation of the Constitution and Electoral Act as the matter should have been handled by an election petition tribunal. The Nigerian Senate has passed a 2019 appropriation bill for second reading. The 8.83 trillion Naira uh, budget or bill has now been referred to the Senate Committee on Appropriation to review and report back in two weeks. The Lagos State Government has set up a five-man panel to probe the circumstances surrounding the collapse of a three-story building in the Itafaji area of Lagos Island last week. The panel comprising professionals in the building sector will probe the immediate and remote causes of the collapse and determine the level of negligence on the part of the developer as well as the role of the state government. The National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Person, NAPTIP, has raised alarm over a new trick employed by human traffickers. The agency alleged that there is a lot of orphanage trafficking going on as some traffickers abduct children from local communities on the street and in orphanages. The Debt Management Office says the federal government will auction a hundred billion naira worth of bonds by subscription on March 27. The figure includes a 40 billion naira five-year reopening bond that would mature in April 2023 another 40 billion seven-year reopening bond to mature in March 2025 and a 20 billion naira 10-year bond which would mature in February 2028. British Prime Minister Theresa May will formally write to the European Union asking it to postpone the Brexit end of March deadline to June in order to keep the UK from getting out of EU with no deal. According to the PM Speaker, the request will be delivered today and it will include an option for a two-year extension of the UK departure. Defending champions Nigeria will take on their Libyan counterpart in a first-round first-leg encounter of the qualification for the Under-23 Nations Cup in Egypt. The match kicks off at 3 p.m. Tunisia time, same as in Nigeria. Well, that's the latest from the newsroom. Thank you so much for watching. I am Fidelia Agoncha.